Hey everybody, Christy Titus here and I'm with Carlos from Horus Vision and today we're talking about the Horus Ballistic app. Yep, yep. It's a really, really good app, free on both iOS and Android platforms. You can get all of your gun data, your ballistics, your atmospherics, everything you need to make a long range shot. So you can download that free app in your app store and today we're going to walk you through how easy and intuitive it is to set up and be getting your firing solutions to take to the range. So once you have the free app downloaded, you create a user profile by entering in your email address and a password, then you're ready to start managing your gun profiles. So to start, what you want to do is under the gun category, you're going to press the plus button. Yep. Then it's going to open up a menu. You're going to name the gun. So we're going to call this one 6.5. We'll call it PRC. So once I've named my gun, the next thing it asks for is your bore height. And my particular rifle is set up at two inches. So add that. And then it's asking for bullet information. Yeah. So all you do there, uh, what I typically do is I, if I know the ammo that I'm shooting, I just type in the manufacturer and that's going to narrow it down by, by the name. From there, I just type in my weight in grain of bullet. Okay, so this is giving me 143 ELDX. Perfect. Perfect. And you can also set up your bullet information if you're also hand loading, yep. correct? So yep, it's, exactly. it's factory and also hand load information exactly. to be inputted. The next ask for it is the muzzle velocity, which you can actually use the muzzle velocity off of the box of ammunition that you're mm -hmm. using. But I suggest for performance and precision, actually chronographing a four or five round shot grouping, take your average and then true that average at distance and enter that velocity. And so your zero, that's just where your zero is. So whether you choose to have your zero set at 100 yards or 200 yards, that's what you're gonna manually enter in there. Yes. Your twist rate should be available on the manufacturer of your rifle's website. It should list out there what your uh, barrel twist rate is. Mine is one in eight. The twist direction is typically right, uh, unless your uh, barrel manufacturer specifies it's left, I would assume that yours would be a right-handed twist as well. And then scope, you can actually specify here, and we're running the Horus hover. And the reticle on ours is the H59. So now I'm going to select that. And my click values for the H59, this is new. It's actually minutes of angle now. So I'm going to change that. Okay, so then we'll save this and we're ready. Yep, that's all you need. After that, you just start ranging targets, collect atmospherics and uh, start truing your, your ballistic solution out range. The other thing that's really neat in this app that I found extremely helpful is under your gun profile, you can actually select the reticle that you're using in your rifle scope. So whether you're running the H59, the Tremor 3, the Tremor 2, the H58, the Tremor, there's a whole selection of Horus reticles in here. So if you select your reticle and update your ballistic profile, it will actually show you a visual representation of what that reticle looks like and give you a visual representation of what those hold dots look like as well, which will help you with point of aim, point of impact accuracy to help you understand those uh, reticles that you're seeing in the scope much, much better. Yep, it'll make it a little bit quicker and easier for you if you're new to the Horus reticles. Go to the App Store to download the free Horus Ballistics app today and get out to the range. Exactly. And if you guys have any other questions, please visit horusvision.com.